Temple State University Athletic Department. We're back here in the Waco Center today for another day of the Coaches Show. And our segment this time is with head volleyball coach Kevin John. Coach, good to see you again. Great to be here. Uh, since last we talked, uh, a flurry of road games, three-game road swing last week. Uh, we'll pick them apart there. Concord, Westlib, and Wheeling opened up down at Concord. Very efficient road victory. Uh, go ahead. Absolutely, yeah. Concord, uh, uh, that was a wonderful match for us. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of workman-like wins where we just kind of then took care of business, even keeled throughout. I, and we got that. We got that. We had a lot of uh, consistent effort. We had a lot of consistent results. We, uh, we, we felt like we were in control of that match pretty much from the beginning to the end. Even when they, they got close to us, you always felt like we were, we were in good shape. And uh, it, was a, it was a fun night. And then you got that in your hip pocket, got that second conference win, and then made the trip to the Northern Panhandle over the weekend. Friday night with West Lib, I know on paper it looked like two evenly matched teams, and they came out and took it to us. And I know we had talked uh, that evening. They, they got us on some energy points, and uh, that one got away from us a little bit. Well, we had uh, we had some uh, we had some things we had to to change going into that match. Uh, yeah. We're missing a few uh, key athletes, yep. uh, specifically one of our middles, and it's a it's a thin position for us. And so we came up with a couple of uh, lineups that we thought might work, and I think they took advantage of uh, our lack of size because with their middles being very efficient and working very hard, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, we probably didn't play with as much energy and effort as we could have with the idea that I think we were thinking a lot about what we were doing on the floor and those kinds of things. Um, I will say that I thought we fought, but we worked hard and I think it's different. It was one of those, again, we've had like three signposts post loss, losses this year, I thought. And I thought that was one of them. I thought that was one of the ones. Uh, we had a couple earlier that were different versions of this and we keep finding uh, uh, different uh, things to learn about in these matches. And I think that we decided to think too much and not play and not play volleyball and not have a lot of fun. Um, and I think we learned that West lesson well going into the next day, for sure. They, they, uh, they took it all to heart. We had a great conversation in the locker room and I, I think the team really yeah. responded well to it. Well, obviously, because uh, Saturday going against the uh, traditional national power, uh, one of the true legendary coaches in the country in Division Two, and uh, Coach Benners, and, and you all came out and played them very tough. I mean, it was, uh, I know specifically the first and the third sets where it was still, you know, within within two points up at late. A couple plays go a different way for us, and we're right there. A couple plays go a different way for us, and that's this thin margin when you're playing against championship teams. Uh, and honestly, I don't think it wasn't that something we didn't take advantage of. It just didn't go our way that night. I think on another night we play that well, it could go a different way. We played very well. I actually think that was one of the best nights we've had the entire season. Uh, it was wonderful to watch from the sideline. The team was loose. They were energized. They were holding each other accountable, but but doing it in a way that was beneficial and useful for the team. So we were getting we were getting information throughout. We were adjusting quickly, and uh, we were just scratching a claw and fighting the whole way through. And and both teams uh, were going at each other, and you could just tell that both teams were enjoying it. Both teams were having yeah. a lot of fun. But just to tell an anecdote, when we showed up there, one of our goals was to be a little bit looser than we've been. We wanted to play. We wanted to, to make sure everyone was just having a good time. So we started our warm-ups at 50, and uh, they were starting theirs a little bit earlier. So we were out on the floor around uh, with an hour left to warm up, and a couple of the girls were dancing, and people were having fun and, and trying to get into it and just trying to have a little bit of fun before they played. And uh, you could see their entire team watching us have a good time, and the next thing you know, their entire team was dancing on the other side. Yeah. And both teams were kind of having a little bit of a fun battle going back and forth for, for a few minutes before yeah. we got the warm-up going. And the, the feeling was just infectious. It just lasted through the whole match. It was, yeah. it was just a lot of fun. But now you're uh, staying in the Northern Division for two more matches this week. Frostburg coming in. We have Fairmont on Friday. Uh, they have a harness, you know, that uh, that play that you had against Wheeling, uh, that could really carry you forward in a positive way in these upcoming matches. Well, for sure, and that's the plan. That's the plan. Every every signpost we've come to, we've gone the right way. 
We have 100% gone the right way. We're a young team. We're first time together with a lot of these athletes. Uh, we had a good core coming back, but it's almost 50-50 with new and, and returners. So it takes, it takes a second for us to, to really find out who we are. And uh, we've done a great job of that. We've done a fantastic job of that. We've gone through the probably the hardest part of our schedule. Not that any part of the schedule in AMC is a piece of cake, but we've gone through the, uh, the championship side of the North, and we've, we've uh, uh, gone through the first uh, time through with, with the South. And I think that uh, we, we learned a lot of great lessons from those matches, and we are definitely looking to put them into what we're doing in the next couple of weeks. And I think uh, we should see some good results from that. Can you talk about some of the, uh, the changes you needed to make uh, had some people out in the different combinations and things fell into place on Saturday. Tell me about the, the team as far as, you know, in those adjustments, the way they've worked with the staff to, you know, with the different lineups you're using now. Yeah, we've, we've had, uh, we're blessed with an entire group that, that can play. They can play. And it's something we've talked about all year long that uh, situationally we can use athletes from the entire bench, and we have. We have. Uh, there's specific players that we have and depth charts to go in if we're struggling on right side defense and serving and serve receive and, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it includes basically the entire bench. So like this weekend, uh, Maddie Shepard went in. Uh, Shep went in and, and made a huge impact and she hasn't played a lot this season. And she uh, went down and locked down receive a little bit for us and she's, yeah. she's one of those kids that, that can do that for us. Go in and receive and, and do that. Uh, McKenzie Reynolds went in and had to play a little bit of middle, and she's had some experience with that, uh, training as an emergency, and, and also we just generally train across the board for multiple positions, and she did a great job. She did a fantastic yeah. job facing people that were, you know, four or five inches taller than her, and got some blocks, and was engaged in the offense enough to hold some people, and get our outside hitters some better looks, and Really, that's all you could have asked for. And then the great thing that she did early in the game was go back there and just serve the wheels off the other side for a while. Uh, that yeah. was a lot of fun to watch that big jump top spin coming to fruition. Yeah. It gets better every month, and, and she took advantage of it early in the match. Yeah. Uh, but that's, that's just two cases right there. But we, we could go on and on and on down the line. Uh, we feel comfortable and confident in our bench and their ability to impact the game situationally yeah. for sure. And they did. But let me ask you a big picture question here. Every coach has, they have different philosophies on this, but getting conference wins over Wesleyan and Concord here in the early going, you know, has put us in a position to, to legitimately think about the playoffs. It's been a while since the team's been in the playoffs, and I know you don't count wins or, or look ahead, but just realistically looking at the schedule, it could be 17 to 18 wins, maybe flirt with pushing it to 20 if you get in the playoffs. You've been able to take a step back and do the young ladies realize that those things are in front of them, or, or how's that even addressed? That was actually part of the conversation we had after the uh, after the, the the match was with West Lib. That was all part of the whole we need to be loose but have our eyes on the prize kind of thing and have a bigger picture in mind and not get hung up about a moment or a point or a set or whatever it was. And we had a we had a long conversation about reaching our goals and fighting for that and and. Basically, if it's 24 on the last day and we're down and we're 24 10 and we need that set to get our goal, we're going to scratch and fight yeah. claw for that last point. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fight to get back from 10 24. We don't, we don't care. It doesn't change our demeanor. It doesn't change our approach. It doesn't change what we want to do. And that's how we approach it. Yeah, we have goals. We want to be in the, the conference tournament. I know uh, that would be a, a huge boon to us. Yes. And But the reality of it is that They've worked hard enough to get it done, and I believe this team deserves to be in there. It's just we have to go out now and yeah. grab it. we got to go out and find it. And uh, six wins likely get you in, so that's definitely a number that we're looking at, but we think we could do better than that. And uh, like I said, I think it's going to be interesting to see how this goes coming up because we do have a shot to get in. Yeah. And you have to be in it to win it. Yeah, Bottom line, absolutely. you got to be in it to win it. Yep. But it's exciting to even be having this conversation. And, you know, this week, uh, again, some big matches coming up. And we'll be looking. Thanks for joining us today, Coach. Really enjoyed it. And uh, we'll be back with you all next week. Thank you all for joining us. And we'll be back with Coach John next week to talk about Frostburg and Fairmont. Thanks for joining us.